Hello everyone. I am Balaji Rao. Welcome to BR Max class. If you like this video, share it with your friends and subscribe to my YouTube channel to get more updates. Chain rule differentiation. Till now in this chapter we learn differentiation with respect to x only. You observe whatever the formulas we learn all are differentiation with respect to x only like uh, d by dx of sin x d by dx derivative with respect to x d by dx of a power x d by dx of x power n till now whatever the problems we done whatever the formulas we done all are differentiation with respect to x only in this class we are going to learn differentiation with respect to x differentiation with respect to y differentiation with respect to z differentiation with respect to any variable how to find derivative of a function with respect to any variable that we are going to learn in this class if y equals to sin x then find dy by dx dy by dx it means derivative of y with respect to x and calculate dy by dz dy by dz it means derivative of y with respect to z derivative of the given function y with respect to z and calculate dy by dt dy by dt what it mean yes derivative of y with respect to t now we are going to calculate dy by dx dy by dz dy by dt when given function is y equals to sin x let y equals to sin x first we will calculate dy by dx that means derivative with respect to x to calculate dy by dx we will differentiate with respect to x on both sides differentiating with respect to x on both sides why we are differentiating with respect to x because we need to calculate dy by dx so we are differentiating with respect to x on both sides d by dx of y equal to d by dx of sin x d by dx means derivative with respect to x we are differentiating with respect to x on both sides now you observe left hand side d by dx of y d by dx of y means what derivative of y with respect to x in the notation of differentiation we learn what is dy by dx dy by dx is nothing but derivative of y with respect to x so d by dx of y it is nothing but dy by dx only so in left hand side we will write dy by dx equal to d by dx of sin x you observe right hand side d by dx of sin x it is nothing but derivative of sin x with respect to x we already learned this formula so derivative of sin x with respect to x is cos x so if y equals to sin x then dy by dx is cos x now we will learn how to calculate dy by dz first you take a given function y equals to sin x what we want to calculate dy by dz dy by dz it means derivative of y with respect to z so you differentiate a given function with respect to z on both sides why we are differentiating with respect to z uh, we need to calculate dy by dz dy by dz means derivative of y with respect to z that's why we are differentiating with respect to z on both sides so you write d by dz on both sides d by dz of y equal to d by dz of sin x i just written d by dz on both sides it means we are differentiating with respect to z on both sides you observe left hand side d by dz of y what it mean d by dz of y means derivative of y with respect to z simply we write it as dy by dz so d by dz of y is dy by dz equal to now you observe this d by dz of sin x it's important d by dz of sin x derivative of sin x with respect to z 
Till now we learned d by dx of sin x only. We didn't see such type of problem till now in this chapter. d by dz of sin x. So here we use the chain rule differentiation. I imagine this x as z. Imagine x as z. If you imagine x as z, it looks like d by dz of sin z. We can write d by dz of sin z as cos z. Sin z, we write it as cos z. In place of z, what is z actually? We imagined x as z, that is cos z into which one you imagined as z, you need to differentiate it, that is d by dz of x. I hope you are understanding that equal to continuation dy by dz equals to cos x into d by dz of x d by dz of x it means what derivative of x with respect to z simply we write it as dx by dz therefore if y equals to sin x then dy by dz equals to cos x into dx by dz now we will calculate dy by dt First, you take a given function y equals to sin x. As we need to calculate dy by dt, I will differentiate with respect to t on both sides. We are differentiating with respect to t on both sides because we need to calculate dy by dt. So, you just simply write d by dt on both sides. d by dt of y equal to d by dt of sin x that means we are differentiating with respect to t on both sides you observe left hand side d by dt of y is nothing but dy by dt dy by dt means derivative of y with respect to t that equals to now you observe this side you imagine x as t if you imagine x as t it looks like d by dt of sin t d by dt of sin t is cos t what is t here x so uh, d by dt of sin x is cos x into which one you imagined as t you need to differentiate it you imagined x as t so d by dt of x what is d by dt of x it is dx by dt therefore if y equals to sin x then dy by dt is cos x into dx by dt i hope you understand this class if you like this video Please press like button below. Share this video with your friends. If you are not yet subscribed to my channel, please subscribe now. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.